apparently cocaine and meth the night before a big game is not the way to go, but he'll bounce back. He's young, man. He's still got years on his contract at uh, Kiel FC. But, uh, yeah. All right. All right, then, guys. We are now ready to go into game four. It could be a 4-0 victory. We just don't know at this stage. Or Von Ivan could make the most heroic comeback of all time. There's only one way to find out. The hand of fate decides where the fight will be. Half the time we see twice intensity. It's chaos. Creep. It's chaos. Creep. Hello there, and welcome to the mighty Isildur's Brits. This guy's 3-0 up. He's on Mill Road. He's immediately locking in Royal Artillery Regiment. And who's he up against, Ed? He is up against NA's last hope in this tournament. And it's the last roll of the dice for Von Ivan today. As he's 3-0 down currently. But yes, he's locked in Mechanized Assault Doctrine with Assault Grenadiers. Big boy plays here from uh, NA's last hope. Askrens, let's go. With sprint, 10, 10 munitions is all you need. And then insta outsmart in an MG or infantry section in green cover. So I think uh, I saw some Siberian play against DevM on this, this very map, Matt. It was good. In the earlier rounds. Yeah. And he was giving DevM all sorts of problems with Askren. So good, good selection. Loving here, I think, the uniforms. Bob. They've spent ages in these commandeered French like townhouses. They've done their lapels. They've got their cufflinks in. They're looking beautiful. Let's see if their MP40s can match their attire and uh, be dressed to kill for Von Ivan today. He is on Mill Road. Let's have a little look at the TAC map. And uh, you'll see it's a very condensed and combat-heavy map. There's no drawn battle lines on Mill Road. It's all about being very aggressive indeed. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Isildur will have an unwritten gentleman's agreement of giving your opponent at least one game. <laughs> That has been customary in the last couple of days, but uh, or will Von Ivan be whitewashed? And I don't think he deserves quite that because he has put a very spirited play display on the last few games. What uh, what credit to Asilda would this be? This would be his second ever major tournament win. He won the 1v1 Elite Showdown last year against Asha Blar in the final. Um, great series that was back in the day. Brits were the flavor of the month at the time. And in this grand final, his second ever grand final, well, third ever grand final, my bad, because Kimbo beat him in Master League Tournament 2, don't forget. Um, he is again with the Brits. Yep, double Askrens, MG42 already forced off, though. Not a great sign as uh, Ostis so heavily depend on that key eliminator unit to, to break him into the early game. And double infantry section is now toting away against the... <laughs> MP40 this, we don't range. need to this watch this, do round. we? Yeah, Let's go and look at something round. else. It's, nothing's going to happen there. Look look away. Oh, one unit's finally died. But what I'm saying is these these Tommies are at max range. They don't need cover. We've got MP40s behind heavy cover. They aren't going to do any damage whatsoever, basically. And where's our next engagement? We do have capping in the... Oh, this is Hyped. He's... No! Oh, he didn't use the bridge tunnel. F my life. Oh, Come on, somebody one day use it, please. Sad flex. Yeah, that is a sneaky little back passage that you can use with your units. Fun fact, if anyone uh, sees this game soon in auto match, I hope it comes with all the others. I think it should be next possible. week, hopefully, because we were promised Ooh. earlier this month, but hopefully next week, nice. let's hope. Now, can MP40s shred the UC enough to get uh, on some much needed field position here in the early game? They're backing away and they've got to because they can't do much without getting extremely close range. And they suffer so much health damage there. They've got five models at 50% health each. I just think uh, what what always amazes me is Isildur's amount of games compared to Von Ivan. Like, it doesn't have, you know, thousands and thousands of each each uh, faction. Yeah. And yet he's this good. It's just like, whoa. Well, two reasons for that. 
Yeah. It's two reasons for that, mate. He's smurfed. He has played on alt accounts. <laughs> Secondly, it's quality. Von Ivan has 7,000 hours, and it's not quality hours. Von Ivan plays so much streams, late night streams against, uh, you know, a lot of players that aren't up to his standard. And, you know, Farming steel, sharp, and steel. Asilda mm. plays scrims against DevM on a weekly basis, for example, and he's not streaming all the time. So the same thing that makes ah, Von Ivan yeah. so popular is actually weakening him a little bit in terms of uh, tactical um, sharpness, really. Sharpness is the word. Yeah, and scrims and tournament games we'll never see, right? They're not recorded exactly. anywhere, so... Yeah, good point, Matt, good point. But either way, he's, he's, uh, he's been very proficient with his game time and how he's learnt this game, become a master of it, really, in the last year or so. Top infantry section there finds a good angle on the MG42. We have engagement in the north as well. Asilda is pulling the trigger. He's trying to pull away. He's sensing that he's in a dominant position. And he's chosen this moment now to start assaulting Von Ivan and picking his engagements. He backs away from the assault grenadiers. And now he's going to shoot them at range and should win that engagement. Isildur yeah, role playing as a 4v4 player just for swag at the moment. Not selecting the AC for quite a while. Don't know what that's about, but the 2 to 2 is on the field, so perhaps he just wanted to see it first. But he's got the famed Quinton Valentino doctrine already loaded up, so. Ooh. 2 to 2 will need some pack 40 help, especially as he's got no Austrian to provide Faust cover this time. Oh dear. Little tiny window of opportunity for the 2 2 2 before the. AEC hits. That big blocky tank destroyer on four wheels. Mm. Armored car, quote on quote. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Save your life when it goes down to a Vickers and a few Tommy shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> it's better be armored. Fight. But uh, yeah, MG42 now going to come up and help the bottom VP. Von, again? <laughs> We've seen it quite often. He gets this early 100 VP drain and then just completely gets pushed off and can't get back on a solid grounding. Bit of a helping hands cap there from the MG. Finally yeah. gets back into the point. There we go. One toe over the line and we have the AEC hitting as legends foretold. And the UC goes forward almost as bait, like a lure on an anglerfish in the deep sea. Just hoping to pull something into that big AUC cannon. Yes, uh, chat remembering the good old days of Elpon hi hiding a Katusha under the troll bridge map in the bottom right. Corner. I remember that. That was epic. There's things yeah. you can do on this map. But the MG42 does hit Fed 1. Can pop the old incendiary rounds, but better off to uh, fight again another day. Low, low, low HP. Salt Grens here with their three kills are capping the northern victory points. And we have uh, an interesting engagement in the south as the Tommies is possibly going to get pushed away by the 2 2 2. But it has to get past the angle on that cover. If you see there, the 2 2 2 wasn't quite shooting at the Tommies themselves. Needs to push forward a little bit. One of the best things of this game at the Definitely. time, you know, that was kind of groundbreaking for RTSs. But uh, here we have um, a dilemma now. You're Von Ivan, Matt. You're 3-0 down. Do you get the pack 40 and believe? Or do you get a P. Gren and upgraded with Shrex, do you reckon? Uh, it's an interesting one. Or none of the above and go stuggy. And uh, uh, <laughs> he's gone. There, there we go. You go for the 250 with the Panzer Grenade. He is inside. Yeah. That's yeah. it. There Crush Rosemary's garden. She doesn't need to garden anyway. She's probably Shrek's dead by now. already upgraded. <laughs> Poor Rosemary. But nice bite, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> if that was left out in London, then uh, bye. But yep. Triple cap now going to Isildur. So <laughs> right on cue. The early mid game, he seems to just... Bring back, bounce back off the ropes and uh, triple cap one back. Mm. And Ooh, here comes yeah. the pain train from Von Ivan. 250 half track. Let's go. <laughs> Vickers paused away as the 2 2 watches oh. on. He needs to get in the capping circle though now because he has a triple cap at his duress, forcing him down. Nade off on the MG, wiping it, but the Tommies can't capitalize because the Askrens are close in behind with the sprint. Disgusting Nate Tech, as we all hate him, folks. Keep it. But uh, this is going to be another nade on the 
donk on the head. But can he sneak away that MG42? I think he can. It's out of range now. Good pressure there from the other squad of Von Ivan. Keeps this MG42 squad alive. Barely. But barely is enough. Fly to the Valkyries time. If Von Ivan goes on to historically win this entire series, it'll be down to these two vehicles on your screen right now. They're up against it, though, with the AEC and the UC. He's going in. Von Ivan knows no fear. He is all about chaos. It is his DNA to do this. He knows no other way. And that's why he's such a dangerous player to play against. As, yes, the 2 2 dies. Hopefully, AE's hype isn't in vain. <laughs> But the problem with the Shreks is it's impossible to target with them. You have to just right click and hope for the best. And the vision is really oh, being problematic no. now for Vaughn. Oh, the old hokey cokey around the shed. Oh, and he hits a six pounder oh, shot. Really. Well microed there. Okay, he disembarked, so in the nick of time. Can the Shreks somehow get accuracy, but he gets smokes in the face. So it was an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. A light vehicle dies in another as well. But a triple cap, it was only a 2 to 2 going down. It got the UC, so it's not end of the world. P Grants with Shrek said, just showing how hard it is to uh, <laughs> make them attack. It, it could have even just <laughs> popped out of the, the vehicle sooner and got more control over them. But they do fire sporadically, randomly at the closest target they see. It's like um, taking a lawn sprinkler to a water fight. <laughs> you might hit your opponent in the face, but you're going to hit a lot of other things as well. Shrek's in a two shift. <laughs> so good, 3,000. <laughs> oh, mate, I always wanted the shotgun one. It was in the Argos catalogue, and it had two. Like, it was this pump action, obviously. Um, I couldn't, you know. It's 30 I wonder quid, what mate. people around the world think Argos catalogue is. <laughs> but us growing up, it was like. I think about it every day, mate. Yeah, it's a kid. It's you're incredible. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, there's an equivalent in every country to toys page and a catalogue in the 90s. Anyway, we've got Panzer Grenadiers now in which Gimped versus Infantry with their anti-tank busting capabilities, meaning they have two less Sturmgewehr. Nade on the Askrans, ouch! And the Valentino's ready to rumble. Only mm. seven pop cap and it's basically a medium tonk trolling around. And it's going to be a tough time for these Pegrens. Do you just pip uh, get onto that one so they will run faster next to grenades? Early grenade. Oh, insta wipe. Goodbye, Royal Engineers. Nice work by the Panzer Grenadiers, but they have a tough they have a tough journey back to base. The AC's watching them, as are the Tommies. They should be okay. MG42 is the next target, but Von Ivan's using that to get the Askrens in. He should now hard retreat, but the victory points in this situation mean he does not want to. Valentine's trying to corral them like an angry sheepdog. However, the nade it does nothing. Good hold there from Von Ivan though. Denied the cap from the infantry section. Fix is going to have to pick up and uh, take over cap and duties. Von Ivan desperately getting tier 3 up, Matt. And with 32 fuel per minute, could just squeeze out an Oswin. Still, maybe a P4. But uh, yeah, VPs will be the decider though of that. Will indeed. Does he have the time? Does he have it indeed? 163. He needs to keep hold of one of these at all costs. He's got pioneers going forward against a five-man infantry section behind heavy cover. I am not that uh, expectant of this situation going in his favour. He needs more than just that. And where is the cavalry? It's just been healed in base. He needs everything to go his way yet again. I think he's just relying on wiping his opponent's AT gun because there's, there's no sign of Vaughn having enough pop cap or manpower space to... Get a pack 40 at the moment. Does fend off the South EP. It's just all about preventing a double or tri triple cap, I feel, for Austin. AC is now targeting the 250. He's in a bad part of town. He gets a 25% chance there. Beach. There we go. The calling vehicle making the difference. Vickers, despite suppressed, getting a good... Uh, a man of suppression off and turn. <gasps> Askrens in the mid. In. Yep. Askrens could die there. I mean, let's check out the north. Oh, Valentine versus no Fausts. No anti tank whatsoever. Meanwhile, AEC versus Askrens trying to take out the Vickers. There's so much going on. There's three simultaneous engagements here. Yeah, Pioneers against five infantry sections. Nowhere near their flamethrower. This is. Desperate time, so desperate that the danger shoots is kind oh, of its summon. Oh yes! 
from the depths of Germany. And from a depths of Denmark, on an island somewhere, a secret project was funded by the Copenhagen government for Imperial Danes, Stug Revitalization Project 2020. And here we see the first demon spawn. It is indeed the Stormgeschutz on Mill Road, the saving grace of the Wehrmacht. Can it save the day for Von Ivan in this case? I'm, uh, oof, questionable choice at the start. I mean, I did mention it, but I didn't think he would actually go it. But here we go. Let's see. It does have a great fire rate. And uh, twins <laughs> with the Pegrens. Just needs to take out a Valentine. And then another Valentine. And then another one. And he might just have a chance of winning. Yeah, he needs to deplete the, um, the fuel counts for the next three Valentines. <laughs> one Valentine at a time. Isidore already got the fuel for another call in. I don't know if there's a cooldown. Can't remember on the old Valentino when it dies. But I might find out as the Captain Struggle gets his gets his way. Don't forget though, be because we need hit. Oh, that was a juicy one! <laughs> grenade and run! That's uh, not what I played as a kid, but it's pretty dangerous for Masilda. Don't forget that, by the way, Von Ivan's played really well this game. He's managed to keep a good victory point count. This is the first time for a long time that Asilda has surged into the lead, 95 to 85. He's capping the south, though. He pushes forward the Askrens to buy time for this MG42 to set up. Yep, Vickers. so south VP looks good, but uh, is it all on a sneaky cutoff, so... Oh. Goodbye, Von's fuel for a bit. By the way, there, the uh, Askrens are about to unleash the nades, the assault grenades, but they got suppressed in the nick of time thanks to the incredible positioning of Asilda's Vickers. Strex are in position. They get a double salvo, but the AC is going to push them around from setting up. They can't reload and set up in time. Maybe they can now. Attack ground, perhaps. Yes! Smoke. What a kill by oh, Von Ivan! Brilliant pickup and the smoke. Uh, Stopped his own Vickers from firing. Von could flank and bundle nade that old uh, Vickers MG. Really cause a problem in the mid if he's got any assault guns to back up. He doesn't. They're healing up. If, if he'd not built the, the Stug, he'd have a Panzer IV right now, and the Stug's not done anything, so it's possibly a misclick. Or a misplay, rather. He could have just gotten a Panzer IV, mate, and that would have been so much more effective. Yeah, but at the time, you know, you're a bit panicky, so much, so much going on. There was an AEC still up at the time, so I think he just wanted some dedicated anti-tank, but yeah, without having any anti-infantry prowess, the Sturg, it's, it's a tough call, tough call for Austin. It is indeed a rock and hard place situation, but he's still battling strong with the infantry. He's making accurate decisions, Von Ivan. He's strategically on form now. He's capping where he needs to cap. He's not running into traps from the Vickers. He tried to get past it with the sprint there, but couldn't quite oh, do it. The one model went the wrong way around oh, the house. Joking he me. Is bad man. Letting the team down for the other assault guns. And they get hard pinned. No. Vickers MG, best MG. But uh, one pioneer sneaks through. And he is capping up on the north as Von, so as he loses the south... Oh, we've got the Starship Troopers in sentry rounds on the bottom. Desperate stuff here from Von Ivan. Oh, there they are as well. He could... Yes, indeed, the Royal Engineers dies. He's going to begin the cap right now. Let's check out the north as the Valentine is unmitigated. The six pounds are there to protect him, but Von is capping the center. He's got the south in the center capping. As Silver has 95 victory points, plays Von Ivan 44. Shreks are hunting down, assault grenades easily dodged. Vickers, however, is now countered by the Stug. Will the Stug prove his worth? He's got to get near the Pegrens for that speed buff. Instead, he's going to shield the old Stug over Missed. the Pegrens. Six pounder setting up, he's going to back away. Panzer Grenadier is a good point guard for this scenario. Meanwhile, in the east, Askrens and MG have been flanked by the five men Tommies. Is that going to be a hard retreat? Yes, it is, but it does not matter because you just have a warp speed uh, MG crew member just flew across the screen <laughs> into position. He is pinned. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Did that happen but, uh, on yours like as well? <laughs> yeah, this is this is good though for Von Ivan, but he doesn't go P4. He has the fuel. He's gone for Oswind. Okay, so all in from Von Ivan now. He needs one more big GG's this push. Like that, take out the pack guns. He's got, weirdly, he's got the, the build to do it. It's just whether Isidore will be caught off guard like that again. 
I tell you what, though, he's, he does. He, he has the build, but does he have the time? Because 44 victory points are going to bleed out in the blink of an eye if he's not too careful. Double cap. Engaged. Infantry section goes north. All of Von Oven's forces are located in the east, but he now has an Oswind. Can he make capitalize? Can he make this happen? He has the next few minutes of play to show us all. This is his chance, Matt. There's no tech from Isseldor to the top tier, so he's just basically going to keep pooping out Valentines and hope for the best on that uh, front of tier. This is Von Ivan's now to win, folks. Stug goes forth, just getting into the, getting that pentel mount into the engagement. And a sort of grenadiers get it to the circle. Here comes the Osfind also. He's battling just to stay in the game because if he gets a triple cap, he's out. He's done for. So he's stayed now. 28 victory points remain. He's got to target the next victory point. Pioneers have gotten a good flank off on the Vickers. And his MG42. On the bottom. VP could lose an MG42. And, oh, no, it could be even worse. Get out of there, Von Lark. He's just sitting there with his MG42 getting shelled. There's a sneaky red smoke there for Mistedor before he ran back to base. Seems to have survived, but five-man Tommies are going to force the Pioneers out of there. 20 victory points remain. Stug gets a good shot off. Six pounders reposition. Panzer Grenadiers go forth. Bundle nade in. Isilda sees it and backs away. we now got the Oswind in position, but heat grenades threatened from the Royal Engineers. Stug is lingering for too long. Gets hit twice by the six pounders. Panzer Grenadiers need to neutralize, but here come the Welshmen. With the Sten guns. Oh no, He's, the bleed continues. 15 and dropping. No VP, no VP. That Vickers can't cap cover the top of it, but no, he's sending his other assault to the mid. I think this is a slight misplay from Vaughn. A Sosvin's gonna Austin. flank, indeed. <laughs> yeah, what can it do, it Ed? Everything's oh, happening. Assault he... Grenadiers sprint in heroically. Nine victory points remain. Osvin trying to back, but the Valentine goes for an expert level block, allowing the six pounders to position and take it out. Great play by Asilda. It's dead for certain, but let's check out the central victory points. Can he neutralize? Six ticking down. We've got the assault grenades oh, in. Oh, what an assault what grenade that was. Could this be a double wipe? Could this be Von Ivan with a big comeback? Four victory points. Can he neutralize? <laughs> yes, he can. He remains alive in this series. <laughs> Oh, and there's the Stug! The Valentine might even eat the dust. Come on, Captain Stug, where you're at. Oh, he doesn't follow up. He could get the six pounders, though. He could crew it and take yep. out the Valentine. That's an option. Will he, he do that now? Oh, he doesn't no, do it. He wants to decrew. Leave the gun. Leave the gun. Decrew the other one first. There we go. There we go. Von Ivan waking up, folks. A quadruple rot wipe with three victory points remaining. This is what we came here to see. This is our money's worth. Von Ivan's delivering in spades. It took him until he was down in the 10th round with a face like um, smashed black pudding. But now he's looking <laughs> a lot better. 1VP is all you need. All you got to do is 1-0. And, uh, oh, my God. That throw now for Missable. Terrible. Losing two sections on the mid VPs. <gasps> oh, he's got a good wipe against the uh, grenades there with the steel grenade grenade assault, as it's properly known. Now let's look at his fuel count. Indeed, he's getting a Panzer four out Finally, and a Silda. Yeah. A What's his tank. tech? He's building a six pounder. He's got no tech, Matt. That's what I was trying to say. He's got no tech. He's basically relying on the old call-in meta of uh, Valentine and having lost those two infantry sections. And two AT guns. This is looking great for Von. It is indeed. What a game we're watching. This is game of the tournament for certain. If Von Ivan can pull this out of the fire, he's a hero to many new viewers that have seen him for the first time. Hey, stacks destroyed. Valentine reverses away. But Asilda, don't forget, let's give him some credit. Best player in the world right now for my money. Certainly of this tournament at least. And he's shown what a force he is. Von Ivan is having to do everything to just win one game here. But in true Lenny Kravitz fashion, it ain't all over until it's over. Could be a dramatic 4-3 comeback. Von Ivan's going to be losing the mid VP. He's, he's almost uh, following the ball around like a bunch of little kids playing football too much now. He needs to concentrate and fan out. Oh, this pyrotechnics could roll. Oh, oh, we just got a squad wipe there. So the shell burst, oh my god, it's World War One all over again, but here's the Panzer IV taking out the first Valentine. We've got 300 fuel, and Asilda drops from the game! An historic comeback for Von Ivan. 
Oh. On the brink of defeat, he clutch victory, and he has us believing once more. The hand of fate decides where the fight will be. Half the time we see, twice intensity, it's chaos. We're back with Ed Nine. The players are ready to go. Um... Well, they're going straight into it, are they? Yeah, they've gone straight into it. I just said break, please, five minutes. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. They're These good guys to go. are we they're, be they're, good to go. Exactly. Ah, the right. Players come first, but uh, poor old AE was hoping for it. There is like a, a provision for a break after round after game four, just so like five, five minutes break. But these guys are just straight in. <laughs> My head is indeed as shiny. Do, 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 do. I'm really not digging this 31-year-old receding airline, guys, but uh, it's like a shiny dome. I need to position the camera angle of the... There we go. Let's, let's go for this. You know, A's 28 again. It's, we're not aging. We're all, we're all doing fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Ed. We're all good, mate. It's all good in the hood. No, no shiny domal heads here. <laughs> oh, my God. The stream was sponsored by <laughs> Miracle Grow. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is it? Is it regrade? Apply re to heads liberally. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, anyway, we've got uh, game five coming up. Um, let's get into it, Ed, and then we'll give ourselves a two-minute... I literally need to go to Lou. That's all I need. Um, let's get into this bad boy. It's on Nexus next. Very interesting. Very exciting. Get you in there, big boy. I, I caught it, though. Von La coming back. Liverpool against Newcastle. Can we get a 4-3, folks? <laughs> what a comeback that game was. His... I th I think that's why they've raged into the next game. It's like Von's like, right, I've got the momentum. Yeah, he's got to right, catch right. the initiative. And... <laughs> no break for you, this one. <laughs> coming in with me. And if you and, say uh, that, it's like it's like you're fronting to your opponent, and they if they back out, they're gonna lose the psychological edge. If you're like, you know, I want to go straight away. If they say, uh, no, I need a break, it's it's almost like you're losing that psychological edge a little bit. Um, yeah, definitely. And I think Von just in the manner of that win as well was. Yeah, we saw Isseldorf for once, though. He, he rolled the dice. He went in for a big play to just see out the caps, but miscalculated ever so slightly. And Von really, really turned that game, that whole this whole series around, I think, with that one win. And uh, yeah, it's teaching on the edge. He's only got one game leeway to be knocked out. But yeah, I think uh, Von now. High pipe. It's back. I pipe indeed, and uh, we have jokes coming in from Elpern, sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, but he can make that joke because he is a $5 benefactor of this community-funded not-for-profit um, initiative where every penny goes into the prize pool. So if you're all like making shady comments like shiny head casters, no pro Bronky casters. Okay, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Green screen Andy, I got <laughs> I got called but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can uh, you can back up your criticisms with a five dollar <laughs> patronage because then you're actually in a position to uh, you know chat shit without getting hit. So uh, anyway, <laughs> let's let's get ready to get oh, into game four. That we'll be... pay, pay to comment mentality. All right, <laughs> that's that's it, mate. You got to you got to be at the table. You got to be at the negotiating table, just like Winston Churchill sacrificing you know, all everybody. You know, <laughs> just wants to be at the negotiating table. <laughs> but anyway, let's um. Let's let's get there now. Let's uh, let's get ready for game four. We'll be right back in one minute. 